Hey guys, it's Carla from The Paper Trail. Thanks for being here. Today I'm going to make these Christmas tree ornaments from uh, tin can lids. So if you'll start saving your lids, this is almost a free project. Um, so I'll, I've got black and brown acrylic paint out. And now I've added a teaspoon of pl plaster of Paris to it. And... Uh, and I'm just spraying it with water to get the consistency that I want. And this will make a homemade uh, chalk paint so that it'll stick to that metal. Um, so you just keep spraying it with water until you get, get it as thin as you need it. And you'll be able to tell as you're stirring it. Uh, this is a very inexpensive way to make chalk paint, and it's um, you can make a lot more variety of colors this way. Sometimes it takes a little bit to to get it mixed well, but chalk paint is not a smooth paint anyway, so. So now I'm just taking a stiff bristled brush and um, dabbing this paint onto the lids, front and back. All right, so now that it's dry, now I'm taking black and brown paint without the plaster of Paris, and I'm just kind of dabbing it on, not solid, just kind of dabbing in places. And I'm just creating a rustic and after a while rusty look. All right, so now that that's dry, now I'm gonna take a glue and water mixture and just very haphazardly brush this on. And then I'm gonna take ground cinnamon and sprinkle it on and that will give me that rusty look. If you're doing this, it's probably a good idea to not rub your eyes while you've got that scent. I don't know what it would do, but I wouldn't try it if I were you um, while you've got that cinnamon on your fingers. So I don't want the rust all over the lid. That's why with the glue, you just kind of very sporadically brush it on. And here's a close-up of the, how it looks. So that's as close to rust as we can get. All right, so now that I've got all of those done, I'm gonna kind of uh, trim it out in some lace. And this is just that Dollar, Dollar Tree lace. So right around the inside edge of that lid, this is the top of the lid. So right around that inside edge, I'm gonna put some tacky glue and then glue along the, the lace because I want this folded. Because in order for it to circle around that lid, it's gonna to have to be kind of thin. So now I'm just going to glue all the way around and then cut it at the end.
to do all six of them that way. So that kind of softens up the rusty lids a little bit. Now this is, I just printed this on my computer and I'm going to tear out each, each word or phrase. And I'm going to be distressing these edges. So when you do that, when you're tearing paper and you're going to be distressing them, um, if you'll tear like the part that you're going to throw away, that part needs to tear toward you so that it gives you that, that rough edge on the front. And then with distress ink, I'm using walnut stain distress ink. Uh, I'm going to distress each one of these mostly the edges but also some some on the front okay so now this is just like cereal box cardboard and I'm brushing on the water and glue mixture so that I can glue those words on so I'm placing them far enough apart where I can tear around them. And I want to brush on top too to seal it in. All right, so now that that's dry, I'm going to tear around around the white paper. Leave some of that brown showing. And then I want to distress those edges too. So I've got them all distressed, and now I'm going to glue them to the lid. Yes, that's great value. That's, that's me. I'm cheap. All right, so, so I'm going to glue each of those to the lid. And now they need hangers. And this is just wire. Uh, I think it's like 18-gauge wire. Um, black wire from Home Depot. Um, it doesn't have to be black, just whatever color you like. And so I'm just, I cut like 18 inch strips of the wire and then I'm going to fold it sort of in the middle and kind of curve it there and that's my hanger. And then the bottom parts will be kind of turned up to cradle <clears throat> excuse me, to cradle the the lid so so that it holds it on there. And then I'll be hot gluing on the back. So with this wire right here, I'm using my pliers to make little curly cues and um, different designs with the wires because I want them all to be different. Um, you can get creative with this with this part and then I want it to sit well in there so once it sits well in there it's kind of like a, a plate holder um, but once it sits well then I'm going to take my hot glue and glue the contact points on the back just where the lid touches the wire. It's not going to touch everywhere, but um, but there'll be several spots where you can put a little dab of hot glue and get it glued on good. All right, so I think I like those little curly cues. And there's the back. So make sure it's seated in there well. And then take your hot glue and just dab it onto the contact points. So 
So I want to do that to each one. Um, just kind of wrap it up around the bottom and then make your little curly cues. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of frame there. And here they are, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this, and maybe you can make some for your tree. And thank you so much for watching, and God bless you.